Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. A couple weeks ago I decorated my hamster's cage for Halloween and well you guys seem to like it so today I'm going to do the same exact thing for my rabbits. But I do plan on doing more decorations and going more in depth than I did with my hamster and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get right into it and head to the store for some Halloween stuff. So our first stop here is TJ Maxx. So we're gonna go ahead and mask up and head on in. So I just got back from going to TJ Maxx. I didn't record in there because I literally had nothing Halloween, nothing fall, everything was already Christmas. So nothing really to decorate the rabbit's enclosure. I did pick up some doggy poop bags because they're always cheap here. But that's all I got from TJ Maxx. Kind of a dud for finding Halloween stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Joanne's Fabrics next and hopefully find some like black fleece for the bottom of their cage. Well, it looks like they do have some fall stuff and it's all 70% off. All right. Looks like they have some black fleece, not a lot. I guess we'll have to see if there's enough on this spool. So I got kind of distracted and I found some fleece and it was on sale, so I couldn't resist. So yeah. All right, so I just finished at Joann's and Hobby Lobby's just a couple stores down, so I'm gonna go stop over there and see if they have any Halloween stuff. Lots and lots of pumpkins. So I found some stuff. I found a pumpkin some leaf confetti, and a straw bale. So this isn't exactly Halloween, but it is fall themed, and I wanna do some really cute pictures of the fosters, hopefully. So I think these things will look really good for some photo ops. Right, just got back in the car from Hobby Lobby, and now we are gonna head to the Dollar Tree. So we found some stuff at the Dollar Tree. They also had a lot of Christmas stuff, but I was able to find some Halloween fall type stuff. So right now we're gonna head to Five Below and PetSmart. They're both right next to each other. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can find. All right, we're here. I'm gonna head into Five Below first and then we'll head over to PetSmart. So I did find some spider webs and I got candy for myself. All right, now on to PetSmart. Such a cute little leopard gecko. So PetSmart was a dud. They didn't really have any Halloween stuff. And they also didn't have alfalfa hay. I was hoping to be able to just grab some because I need some more for the Fosters. So next we're gonna go to Target and then the last stop will be Petco for, for sure some alfalfa hay and maybe they'll have some Halloween stuff. Jackpot, totally getting this. Last stop, Petco. All right, we're done with Petco. They had alfalfa hay. I also interacted with, it looked like a mom and a grandma picking out a hamster for their kids. And of course, too small of a cage. But I informed them as much as I could of what needs to be given for their hamster and to make sure they used aspen and paper bedding. When I saw them, they were looking at bedding, trying to pick them out. So definitely, I'm sure they're gonna get the right bedding. Hopefully they upgrade the cage they had picked out. 
Yeah, and then I also had, was asked about advice at the cash register about an overweight rabbit. So that's pretty cool. I was actually able to give advice to two people today. So that was my last stop. We're going to head home and we are going to decorate the rabbit's room for Halloween. And I don't think I mentioned it, but we are decorating the foster buns room. So stay tuned. All right guys, it is finally done. I finally finished decorating their room and I think it turned out really good. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here's their room. They have some chewy paper to crinkle right there. And then I put the straw bale in here with the pumpkin. Now, they only get time out here when I'm supervising, so that's why I put it out here. And it is actually okay if the rabbits chew on the straw, obviously. They mainly eat hay, but straw is not going to hurt them. So I have this cute little thing here. We have a Halloween sign and it says trick or treat, which way to the treats, which I think is super cute. Then around the whole top of the cage, we have some spider webs with spiders. And I purposely put it on the outside here. So if it falls or anything, it's not going to be falling in their cage. There's no way for them to, like, have access to it. So, there's that. All right, and then we have their water dish. I got an orange one. Obviously, we have black fleece now. It's going to get super dirty. I already know that. And, well, <laughs> papaya is tired. My goodness. And persimmon is hungry. But then we have this toy basket and it says have a magical Halloween and then we have the actual Halloween cat house this is from Target <laughs> oh my goodness they're crazy anyway so this is the cat house from Target my personal rabbits really like these cat houses and they really liked that cat house so I went ahead and got them that would you stop being adorable so I can finish recording my video? <laughs> Look at you. Zonked out. I'm crazy. So I put their cat house I had before out here. I honestly don't like it that much. It's just not that great quality, but they seem to like it. So we just put it outside and we'll have access whenever they're free roaming. So. Otherwise, they have this really nice Halloween cat house now. And then they have a little toy up top. It's actually a dog toy, but I think it looks super cute. So that's that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So their entire room now looks Halloween themed. Kind of fall themed too. I personally think their room turned out absolutely amazing. If you like this video and you think that this cage turned out amazing, make sure you leave this video a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, live life to the fullest.